Okay, welcome! My name is Daisy and I am the original creator on this channel and also I'm the founder and CEO of Banish. Um, I've had my business for 11 years. We're celebrating our 11th birthday next week. So I've been living, breathing, and eating uh, microneedling devices. Everything about microneedling devices, okay? And I was going to do a video on this article called Microneedling for Acne Scars and Asian Skin Type an effective low cost treatment modality. And so I was trying to like go back and cite the article in this video. And then I found my old video that I made in 2016 about it. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to review my review of the video. So it's like inception YouTube review videos and reaction videos. Um, I actually have a huge issue with like watching my videos in front of other people. Like I can watch it by myself, no problem, but I can't watch it in front of other people. But right now there's no one else watching me film this. So you're watching me react to myself. And I actually published this video in 2016, which means I have been talking about microneedling for a million gazillion years. Like I am a dinosaur. 2016 y'all was eight years ago. Can you believe that? Anyways, we're going to react I've been making YouTube videos for almost 14 years, talking about microneedling for that long. Like, I need to get a life, but let's go. Let's go ahead. Hello, perfect beauties. My name is Daisy, and today on the acne channel, I'm going to be talking to you guys about microneedling in Asian skin. Okay, um, let me know if you guys like my hair back then, because I actually dyed it, and it was like this reddish brown, really, really pretty. Um, but my hair right now has been virgin for probably like eight years. Probably that was the last time I actually did anything to my hair. And I kind of go back and forth as to like whether to dye it or not or like keep it virgin. So let me know. But in this, I had like red hair. Look how cute our packaging was back then. Oh, she's so cute. Y'all remember the elixir and the activated charcoal? If y'all if y'all remember, please hit that like button. Oh my God. We're going through nostalgia. Okay. So I actually pulled up some research papers and documents and I spent the past few months like reading and researching and asking some of my doctor friends and those in medicine to kind of translate some of it because it's actually really- Okay, so I actually went to Duke University because I wanted to be a dermatologist. I graduated in three years because I didn't want to pay an extra year's worth of tuition because I'm Asian and cheap. And um, yeah, I had to read, like I studied pre-med because I wanted to be a dermatologist. So I had to read all of these like journal articles and they're like really boring to read. It's really, really difficult to read and it's like hundreds and hundreds of page pages. But there's actually a lot of uh, clinical trials and studies proving the effectiveness of microneedling in Asian skin. And as you guys know, I started Banish, which is basically a microneedle uh, roller called the Banisher, with the vitamin C serum, which is gonna be kind of the... So do y'all remember the Banisher? So for my 11 years running this business, we were all about iterating. We had the Banisher. We had like a Banisher with like three different needle lengths. And then I always, after that, stuck with a 0.5 needle length because 0.5 has been actually scientifically proven to be the best needle length, even better than a two millimeter you know, like all that. And then I created a stamping device with like self sanitizing cap. And then most recently I created the Banisher 3.0, which has um, replaceable heads. But yeah, this was, she was, she was beautiful. Rest in peace, rest in peace. If you guys have one of these OG ones, maybe you can like sell it on eBay for like, you know, a thousand dollars. I don't know. It could be a collectible. It could be in the Smithsonian, like with the dinosaurs. Okay. Um, in the study, they say they put like a acidic topical solution on there or a, and the vitamin C serum has always been in a dark jar, glass jar. Like all the Banishes products have been in a dark glass jar because um, we don't want like BPAs or like plastics going leaching into our skincare and also just keeping light out. They, they call it a topical solution. So that's kind of what it is, a vitamin C serum um, on the skin. And it has worked really, really well for me. And the, the study is called Microneedling for Acne Scars in Asian Skin Type an um, effective low-cost treatment modality. So I will put the link of the article if you really are nerdy or have, you know, a few extra hours to spare, you can actually go and read through that article. But I've kind of summarized it for you guys and hopefully it'll help you better understand exactly how this trial was conducted and what the results were. So the reason why a lot of these doctors are doing microneedling is because um, there's a lot of approaches that have been used for acne scarring like lasers and chemical peels, 
but however a lot of them are pretty invasive and it's actually very very expensive to achieve the goal of getting rid of acne scars um, so you know getting a laser done is really expensive getting a chemical peel done is expensive and doing it at home is actually quite dangerous because I have done chemical peels and it's basically burned my entire skin off and you know it was just an accident where I kept it on too long and for literally two weeks I like could not go out in public because my face looked like it had a burn so a lot of doctors are actually you know going into microneedling and figuring out hey you know is this a better um, you know way to to treat acne scars than the other ways out there and maybe okay so first I cannot stand these filler words I use I don't know if I still use them but it is really annoying so whenever you watch yourself you get so cringed out by yourself it's better for our patients because it's also cheaper to provide and a lot of the studies are done on different kinds of patients but what about people with Asian skin type because I think Asian skin we are a little bit more yellow and maybe brown based of a skin type so for me, every time I get a pimple, it leaves a scar, and the scar is very, very pigmented. So what they did for this um, treatment and try Anything I do to my skin leaves a scar. It's actually very, very crazy. Like, like I'll like, I don't know, like even a paper cut or like a burn on um, from a curling iron. My skin is so prone to scarring, and I think it's because I have like really deep pigment, but my skin is also light, so it like doesn't really blend in. Well, is they had 36 patients, so they had 26 female and 10 men, um, and they used it for post acne atrophic facial scars. And these patients, they went under five sittings, so they went under five like different um, dermal roller treatments, um, and they used um, topical anesthesia. So for us in the Vanish Kit, we don't. Uh, put in numbing cream or whatever because uh, the, our banishers I don't believe are like painful enough for people to get kind of the anesthesia with it but for these doctors if you want to get these microneedling treatments done at your doctor's office you need to um, they usually use like up to four millimeters of needles and they'll put an anum like your, your face like numb it uh, because that is really painful so they did this in monthly intervals so Again, this was over eight years ago where I was selling derma rollers. And now we know that 0.5 millimeter length is the best length for collagen induction therapy. Your skin is only about one and 1.3 millimeters thick at like the thickest places. So we don't need to go like actually deeper than that because it's been shown that collagen induction happens at a 0.6 millimeters and above. So anywhere going deeper than that, you're just trying to, you're causing more trauma or injury to the skin. <clears throat> but if you do want to use a numbing cream, you can get them on Amazon or over the counter. There's 4% lidocaine that is safe to use over the counter. Personally, for the banisher, it feels like tweezing my eyebrows, getting my eyebrows threaded. If you've had a Brazilian, ladies, it is way less painful than that. <laughs> so I don't think a numbing cream is necessary for the banish kit, to be honest. And they did this. They also recorded the improvement by comparing the treatment at the end from the previous month's sitting. So they, you know, it's very scientific when you're doing a clinical trial and like writing this huge research paper, you gotta like have controls and really good documentation. So they had a scale from zero to 10 on how good or bad the acne scar was. And um, at the end of the study, 30 people completed the study and the group ranged from 18 years old to 40 year, years old. And um, that's how they kind of completed it. So after these five treatments, there was a statistically significant decrease in mean acne scar assessment score from 11.7 to 6.5 after five sittings. That's incredible, 11.7 to 6.5 after only five treatments. Sittings of the roller and derma roller treatments. That's big, that's from 12 to six almost. Um, and they also showed by um, photographic evaluation 50 to 75 improvement in the majority of the patients. And so they took this on a visual analog scale or VAS and this analysis showed good response in 22 of the patients and then excellent response in four of the patients at the end of the study. So hopefully I can be a, the excellent response or you can. Um, and so the procedure was well tolerated by most of the patients and the only complications noted were post-inflammatory. So 26 out of the 36 had like really good reactions uh, to the microneedle treatment. So 20, was it 24 or 26? 26 out of the 36 uh, had really great responses and thought that their skin looked significantly better. 
in Asian skin. That seems like pretty good odds to me, 26 out of 36. You really have nothing to lose. I'm a study, so hopefully I can be a, the excellent responser you can. Um, and so the procedure was well tolerated by most of the patients and the only complications noted were post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation in five patients and tram tract scarring in two patients. So the thing with tram tract scarring is that can happen if you are not careful when using the banisher. So what I recommend is rolling it one way, lifting it up, and then rolling it again. I think sometimes what people do is they'll just roll it back and forth really, really hard, and that can cause like the tram, tram track kind of scarring. So basically this research- That was cute of me to talk about tram track scarring. I've been talking about tram track scarring for over eight years. I think I should get out and have more of a life. Like why, why do I keep talking about tram track scarring? This is why I created the Banisher 3.0, the Banisher 2.0. The needles are significantly thinner than what was in the original Banisher. And there's no way for y'all to get any kind of scarring with this because the needles are so fine and there's no tram track scarring. So again, I'm always trying to innovate through these 11 years of running this business, really innovate, create the best products for the best results based on science, based on studies, based on research for the best, safest, and most cost effective at home microneedling. And if you're Asian, if you're Asian, you have a, what is it, 26 out of 36% chance you're gonna see excellent or good results. It's pretty good. Showed that there is great satisfactory results in um, people with Asian skin type. And um, there's very, very little like side effects other than the ones that we just said from the patients. Um, and so what else can we learn from this study? Well, that Derma rolling is a really, really great treatment, and in my opinion, probably the best treatment for acne scars. I know that um, you know there's not a lot of talk about the derma rolling and um, you know microneedling, and I think part of it has to do with um, a lot of cosmetic surgery centers can make more money if they prescribe you know a laser treatment uh, for five thousand dollars and you know and banish kit for sixty nine dollars. Um, because it's more of a monetary thing. But the thing about, also about acne scarring is that it is very, very hard to get rid of because it is kind of permanent damage to the skin. So don't expect. So I love how back then there wasn't a lot of talk about microneedling. And I still feel like in 2024, there could be a lot more talks on it, but we're not talking about it. I don't really know why we're still not talking about it. I think it's because like none of the big companies have really caught on to this. They're all like, distracted by you know their current like product lineup and I don't think people in the product development of those companies have the same story that I've had so you know I landed on like a diamond in the rough and created my own business that's completely independent of any other corporation to really get it out there so yeah it's interesting how I would think now like microneedling would have blown up I still feel like it is something that people don't know too much about but I'm so glad through like the YouTube videos and our content and our Instagram that Banish has really put microneedling on the map and made it like accessible to people at home safe effective affordable accessible treatment for acne scarring because before then it was only go get a co2 laser done you know and you know Asians we can't do that <laughs> like amazing results like baby smooth skin but you can definitely see an, an improvement and I think that's all you have to like expect. You can't expect yourself to just have like really, really amazing skin all of a sudden. Um, you have to keep doing it. And as this study um, showed, the patients did it once a month for five treatments. So it definitely took five months for them to see those results. So thank you all so much for watching. So they did it for once a month for five months. I like to do it every other week, but regardless is you have to be consistent. And this is why in the Banish kit, the Banisher 3.0 kit, it comes with um, two replaceable heads so you can change them out and then you should also replace the heads after four times of use or whatever like if you do the whole face you should replace it and keep on doing it because consistency is so so important as you saw in the study it's not like they just did it once and then did the results they did it for five months I hoped that this study has helped you make your decision in figuring out whether to try okay so that's it also I feel like my face got like I feel like my face was like a lot like it was like more of a baby face and now like my face is like slimmed down. I think that's a side effect of getting older. Um, thank you all so much for watching. And if you're Asian and you have acne scars, don't lose hope because I'm Asian and I have acne scars and 
there's definitely affordable, safe treatments out there. Also Banish, we have a 45 day money back guarantee. Um, so if it doesn't work for you, you know, I, I totally empathize with people who have tried so many things with their skin and nothing seems to work because I suffered with acne since I was nine years old and spent tens of thousands of dollars trying out different products, nothing seemed to work. So, so I don't want to take anyone's money if it doesn't work for them. But yeah, anyways, it doesn't work for them. So you can return it back. Even if the products are all used, totally fine, right? Totally fine. Um, so thank you all so much for watching. And if there's any other reaction videos you want me to do, I can even do reaction videos to my old self. Like this is kind of like reacting to me. It's a little weird, but I think, I think I got it. So thank you all so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.